Welcome back, Rich Minds. It's your boy Reno coming back to you with another video. And today's topic is gonna be they mess with the wrong one. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, chosen ones, they mess with the wrong one, okay? And so with that being said, y'all, I need y'all to understand something. When people are messing with the wrong one, they don't know what they're getting themselves into. Yes, sir. When people are messing with the wrong one, they don't know who they are bumping into. They don't know who they are tarnishing with. All right? Somebody drop in the comments and say, you don't know who you messing with. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say, you don't know who you messing with. Listen, y'all, this right here is very urgent for all my chosen ones, for all my empaths, you know, for everybody who feel like they have been taken advantage of, you know, for everybody who have felt like they have, you know, even overcompensated, y'all. Okay, and end up allowing somebody to play them. All right. Now, here's the thing, y'all. Even if a person has overcompensated or even if a person has played you because you have overcompensated, understand something, y'all. Understand something, y'all. They're going to get theirs in the long run. Okay, they will get theirs in the long run. And so I need you to realize something. Being a good person, being a kind-hearted person, being somebody who is genuine, you know, uh, it comes with a lot of perks, but it also comes with a lot of leeches. It also comes with a lot of people who are jealous. It also comes with a lot of people, you know, who are envious of your favor, your success, and your God-given talent, all right? And so I just need y'all to realize something. They have messed with the wrong one. They don't even realize what's about to happen to them. And so in this video, y'all, we're about to speak about it, okay? If y'all are ready, somebody drop in the comments and say, Reno, speak about it. Oh, yeah, y'all. We're about to go all the way in. Now, before we do so, y'all make sure y'all go ahead and leave a thumbs up on this video as well as subscribe to the channel. Yes, sir. And not only that, y'all, y'all be sure to ring my bell so you can be notified after every single video I post. Let's get into it, Chosen Ones. Number one, it's going to be this, y'all. Uh, you don't care. Okay, let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you don't care. Okay, Reno, break this down for me, please, because I don't want I don't want people thinking that I'm a bad person, right? Cool, I got your chosen one. Um, when I say you don't care, you don't care how a person feel about you. Okay, you don't care what a person have done. You don't care emotionally enough to be disgruntled by it. You don't care enough to allow a person to mess up your day. You don't care. Okay, somebody go ahead and drop that in the comments as well. I don't care, right? Because when you do care, this is when you set yourself up to be hurt. When you do care, this is when you allow people to get the best of you. When you do care, this is when people feel like they can pull anything over your head. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I'm not the one. Now, y'all listening in closely, y'all. When it comes to you not caring, that is your superpower, right? I made this post on social media, y'all. I said that uh, not caring is a superpower. And it truly is. Those who care, listen, y'all, life is very simple. Those who care are the ones who get hurt the most, right? And those who don't care are the ones who save themselves heartache. Why? Because, uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to say unfortunately. I'm going to just say this, y'all. The good Lord created us to feel. He created us to have emotions. He created us to feel for other people, to feel things. We are naturally sensitive, right? And so, um... It's unnatural for us to not want to care about other people, animals, things, you know, uh, whatever the case is, y'all, whatever gives you that urge to care about it, right? It's unnatural. I I'll tell you straight up and down. However, once you develop, you know, a sense of I don't care, you are going to save yourself a lot of heartache, a lot of pain a lot of agony, okay, a lot of hurt, a lot of leeches, you're going to save yourself, y'all, you will, somebody drop in the comments and say, save yourself, you will, I, I, I'll be 100% honest, why, because everybody does not deserve an explanation, everybody does not deserve uh, the best version of yourself, everybody does not deserve, you know, uh, who you are as an individual, everybody does not deserve your kindness, your love, everybody does not deserve you, and so with that being said, y'all, I need you to understand something, sticking to the first point, you don't care, 
And this is a clear indication or sign that they have messed with the wrong one. Most people they have caused agony to, pain to, okay, lied to. All right, most people they have caused these things on to y'all. They actually care. And so with that being said, you know, you don't actually care. All right, which means they have messed with the wrong one. Okay, maybe they uh, free picked you. All right, maybe they thought that you was an easy target. Okay, now y'all make sure y'all listen to uh, my last video. Okay, about being the easy target, but maybe they felt that you were the one who was actually going to care. And guess what, y'all? They got the wrong one because you do not care. All right, for instance, let's just say you got this man, you know, who's consistently uh, doing this uh, particular woman wrong. Now, nobody wants to be done wrong, all right? Don't nobody want to get cheated on. Don't nobody want to be lied to. Don't nobody want to be slandered. Don't nobody want to be hurt. Let's just keep it 100% here, right? But let's just say you get to a point to where this is like your second or third rodeo, right? And this can go for male or female, but we sticking to the point, which I said a man is doing a woman wrong. Y'all follow me? Uh, uh, and let's just say that he thought that she was going to be on the corner or in a room or in the bathroom, uh, hint, hint, like how I was when I was 15 years old with my first ex, you know, dummy so wrong, y'all. Oh, my goodness, man. But anyway, uh, he thought that she was going to be in the bathroom on the floor crying, right? Just crying. And she's over here eating potato chips. She's over here at the gym. She's talking with her friend. And she's uh, basically or possibly plotting on how she can get rid of this man. See, it's going to hurt his ego. Yep. It's going to hurt him more than it actually hurt her. Why? Because he thought the things that uh, uh, he was doing was actually going to bring her down. That's what he thought. Brina, what are you saying right now? See, he had a whole another thing coming. She did not care. Okay, makes sense what I'm saying, y'all. Again, not caring is a superpower. I'm just being honest, y'all. Moving on to the next one, fam, there's going to be number two. And that is, God don't play about you. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder. For my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, God don't play about you. <laughs> now, this right here is one of my favorite ones because, you know, when you are a chosen one, y'all, you are protected by the Most High. You are protected by His alliance. You are protected by His uh, angels. You are protected, you know, uh, by God in so many different ways, y'all. In so many different ways. Right now, what are you saying right now? See, they didn't understand the spiritual connection you had with the Most High. Oh, no. They didn't understand, you know, how spiritually equipped you were. See, most people in this world, y'all, are actually worldly. Literally, y'all, literally, they are of the world, okay? You are just in the world. And so, people who are of the world are not protected by the Most High. Not like you, anyway. He loved all his children, right? But let's just not forget the fact that, you know, I don't know, y'all. He just threw some uh, fireballs, okay? I can't uh, think of the exact term for it, but he threw fireballs on Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm just saying, y'all, okay? God don't really too much care about worldly people, all right? If y'all haven't, you know, read the Bible. However, y'all, what I'm saying is, is that God does not play about you. So those same individuals who try to, you know, tell lies on your name, those same individuals who laughed at you, made you a mockery, those same individuals, y'all, who took you for granted, right? Those same individuals was dealt with down the line, okay? Those same individuals, family, was dealt with down the line. Y'all ever seen Boys in the Hood, right? Don't nobody laugh, please. Listen, y'all. Boys in the Hood, y'all, the movie with Ice Cube, where he was like, either they don't know, they don't show, right? Whatever the case was. But when he retaliated, right? When he retaliated about the passing, or I would say the murder of his brother, okay? Um, Doughboy got that back, which is Ice Cube. He got that back, right? And so he was dealt with at the end. Listen, it didn't matter if he thought he got away with it. And even in the end, y'all, he knew he didn't get away with it. But the point is, y'all, you know, when you are dealing with uh, somebody who is chosen, and I'm not saying that, you know, the Boys in the Hood movie, any, any of those were cho chosen. I'm just saying that uh, you will get back what you put out. That's basically what I'm saying, y'all. And so sticking to it, you know, uh, you know, he pretty much got that back. And that's the same thing with your enemies. That's the same thing with your adversaries. That's the same thing with, you know, anybody who is going against you. Listen, y'all, God don't play about you. And so whatever they put out, listen, they're going to get that right back. 
God does not play about you, okay? You is one of his anointed, one of his elected, one of his nominated, all right? What make you think that he's going to allow you to be tarnished or dealt with? No, they're going to be dealt with. They're going to be dealt with, okay? And so with that being said, y'all, that's number two. They mess with the wrong one, and they will be dealt with, all right? Number three, y'all, it's going to be this family. Um, You can't be broken, okay? Uh, let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, you can't be broken. No, not at all. You cannot be broken, okay? It's almost like a bulletproof glass, okay? A bulletproof glass cannot be broken. I don't know anything that can uh, strike through a bulletproof glass. If, if it can, y'all, if y'all know, please inform me and drop it down below in the comments. I want to know. Sincerely, however, y'all, you are like bulletproof glass. You cannot be broken, all right? They can beat on you. They can hit on you, okay? They can shoot at you. Not literally. Y'all know what I'm talking about, all right? They can shoot at you. They can do anything to you, but you will not fold. You will not break. Listen, y'all, you can't be broken. Somebody drop in the comments and say, I can't be broken. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say you can't be broken, okay? Listen, y'all, my grandma had this saying. I'm sure y'all know uh, this saying, but sticks and stones may hurt my bones, but, you know, words would never hurt me, right? And so it's very, it's very similar to this right here, y'all. Instead, sticks won't hurt you. Stones won't hurt you. And words will never hurt you, okay? So, again, y'all, no matter what they do to you, don't don't uh no matter who they try to pull over to the side and hey nah don't give him no job hey nah don't give her no job or, hey nah you don't want to deal with her she bad news you know it don't matter how many people they try to turn against you you know y'all because when you're a strong person you got people who try to you know conjoin with your enemies y'all know how it go you have people who try to conjoin with your enemies but you cannot be broken Right. You cannot be broken. You know, y'all, I never forget, you know, the process of, you know, from going uh, to divorce. Well, of course, married, then divorced, then homeless, you know, then going back from that. Well, not back, but fast forward. I went from uh, homeless to now back to my own crib, now getting my car back, you know, now having multiple jobs, uh, now saving up my first five thousand dollars. Are y'all following what I'm saying? Right. Like. People thought that I was going to be broken. People thought that I was going to go back home, okay? And listen, I don't know if y'all know this, but when you go back home, it's almost like a ill type thing. Like, he failed. <laughs> he lost. Look at him. He done came right back home. He thought he was going to go up there and succeed and look at him. Look at what he's doing. Look at what's going on with him, right? Yeah, y'all, all of that. They can't wait to see you at your nearest destruction they can't wait to see you go back home they can't wait to see you go back to your hometown they can't wait to see your marriage fail they can't wait to see you lose your job they can't wait to see you you know uh lose all the things that you have accomplished your accolades right you work hard for it i had worked hard for what i had y'all but i knew it was people who was just waiting for it to go all down to shambles that was waiting on y'all okay however once they see that god has created you to be resilient it makes them look at you different so even when they speak with you and when they see you it's almost like they still hit you with a little bit of ridicule uh critique or criticize right um they still don't want to give you the proper credit in their heart in their mind they know they got to give it to you they know and see here's the thing y'all Whatever stone they tried to throw at you, whatever rock they tried to throw at you, okay, the words that they tried to spread about you, okay, because that's a form of witchcraft, y'all. Uh, gossiping and spreading negativity on people, that's witchcraft. They ain't nothing but witchcraft, okay? All that stuff right there, y'all, it still did not bring you down. You can't be broken. You can't. That's a real fact, all right? But sticking to the point, y'all, that's another clear indication that they have messed with the wrong one. They tried the same formula on somebody else, and it actually worked. I hate to say it, y'all, but it did. But with you, it did not work, all right? It did not work. But let's go ahead and get to the next one family, which is number four, y'all, and that's going to be your power surprised them. Yes, sir. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, your power surprised them, okay? Again, y'all, you know, going back to my situation, you know, I surprised a lot of people. People thought that was going to be the end of me. 
okay? I mean, if y'all want to get deeper, y'all, go think about Michael Vick. They thought that was going to be the end of Michael Vick. Now, he probably didn't have the same run that he did with the Falcons, but he had, you know, the Eagles. that He played pretty good with them. Right? They thought it was going to be the end of him. Nope, he went to the Eagles. Now, I don't know if he ever going to be a Hall of Fame because of just the, the laws and regulations and what you can and can't do. I get that. But as far as thinking that he was going to stop, he still went there, got rich, and still played. And he played his butt off. Vic played his butt off. Reno, what are you saying, though? It was the power. What gives you power? Your confidence give you power. Your resiliency give you power, okay? Your mentality give you power. Your willingness to get up and dust yourself off, even though people have seen you, they laughed at you, they seen you lose your crib, they seen you lose your deal, they seen that you lost this and lost that, and you're still able to get up and look them in the face and keep going. Reno, what is that? word uh that's humility your humility right that's power everybody don't have the ability to fall down and get dirty and, and get it out the mud still while having mud covered all in their body all on your head just like you were in the military it looked like you out there trying to go to war but understand something you still made it through right your power surprised them like i didn't know they had it in them I probably won't ever tell them, but you still surprise them, <laughs> right? Surprise. Somebody drop in the comments and say surprise. Yes, sir. Make sure you drop in the comments, family, and say surprise. This is a real thing, y'all. They have messed with the wrong one. I need y'all to understand something. This is a real life true story, all right? But getting to the next one, y'all, this is going to conclude it. Um, number five is going to be this, y'all. They proved themselves wrong. Yep. Let me say it louder for my chosen ones in the back. Listen, family, they proved themselves wrong, okay? Reno, what do you mean by that? So, the same people who betted on you, yep, the same people who said that you was going to fall, the same people who did not believe in you, yeah, those same individuals, they have proved themselves wrong, right? They thought they was going to prove themselves right by looking at your track record, by looking at what happened in the past, okay? By uh, looking at where you came from. That's another thing, y'all. When you have come from a place that was like hopelessness, when you have come from a place that was like, you know, it's almost as if it was cursed, like the ground was cursed. Everybody who come from this place and try to do something great or successful, they end up losing. It's almost like it was a curse where you came from. Yeah, y'all, they looked at you and they underestimated your power. They looked at you and said, nah, she ain't going to be able to do that. They looked at you and said, oh, she had a baby out of wear a lot. Oh, she ain't going to never be able to become successful. She going to be just like her mama. Oh, you going to be just like your daddy in jail or dead. Yeah, that's what they saying, y'all. But see, they proved themselves wrong. Okay, they proved themselves wrong. And that's what I love, y'all. That's what I love. Uh, I think Kendra Lamar said, minor setback for major comeback. That's my favorite, right? And that wasn't his uh, quote. He said that in a record, you know, with Nipsey Hussle and, um, uh featuring Nipsey Hussle, the record called Dedication, right? But the point is, y'all, you know, when you have that minor setback for a major comeback, don't it just make you feel good when you're looking at their faces disgusted? Like, hmm, I was expecting for you to lose, right? I mean, it just make you feel, it's like a breath of fresh air, y'all. It's very refreshing. It's very refreshing, y'all. It is, okay? However, y'all, they have proved themselves wrong, okay? And so, this is how you know they have messed with the wrong one, all right? Simple as that. But with that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and uh, wrap this video up, y'all, by doing a recap. So, uh, number one, you don't care, okay? Number two, God don't play about you. Number three, you can't be broken. Number four, your power will, your power have uh, surprised them. And number five, they proved themselves wrong, okay? And so y'all already know how we do. If you would like to purchase any one of my books, enroll into my social influence course, or book a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can do so by clicking the link inside my description. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Y'all keep a rich mentality. Peace. What's good, family? It's your boy, Reno. Check this out, y'all. I just dropped my social influence course, okay? Where I show you how to build up your social media platform as well as become a self 
self-published author. Understand what I'm saying, y'all? If you want to leverage your expertise, okay, you got to publish your book. But not only that, if you want to get popping and build your community, you got to build up your social media platform. And so I put that all in one course, okay? And so all you got to do is go to the link in my bio, all right? And drop in the comments, social influence. If you want to build up your social influence, click that link in the bio and we're going to get you popping. Keep a rich mentality.